darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of... Well, grass, actually. This is Ilminster Graveyard in Somerset, and it is overrun by rabbits to the point where it is becoming a danger to the living. Well, uh, we were here during the summer. Uh, the church had got a bit over overgrown for, for various reasons. Uh, so we had a working party to try and clear it, and one of the volunteers uh, went over on a on a rabbit hole. You know, turned her ankle and such like. Uh, but you know, it was it was obvious. Having a quick look around, especially in this lower part of the cemetery, uh, but you know, a definite rabbit problem. If there's something digging in your neighbourhood, who are you going to call? This time, the council called in a superb local resource, the South Somerset Ferreters, run by Jaff Jefferson. The options are limited, but it, but it has to be done. And, you know, ferreting on a Sunday morning, reasonably early, you know, it, it's, it's probably, probably as, as least intrusive as, as, as you can get, realistically. Yeah, I, I put it through council, uh, got full, full approval. I, 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 I've known uh, Jaff for for a very, very, very long time and you, he was more than capable of, of, of dealing with this situation so we come up on a, a, a scouting mission to establish where it all, where it all is. Uh, he's managed to secure permission from a, a couple of the surrounding fields from, from the landowners so yeah hope, hopefully we can get this sorted out so there's no more mishaps in the cemetery and you know no, no more holes and disturbances. Well, you certainly don't want holes and disturbances. Jaff and his team ferret carefully around the gravestones, especially the place where the volunteer fell over. Um, you can't have rabbits running around the cemetery digging up the graves and eating people's flowers, can you really? You've got to solve this problem, but yeah. what, have you, what have you got to avoid doing? Digging. You can't have too much digging in a graveyard. Um, but luckily, I'm, I'm using my little jewels today so they won't kill a rabbit. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a sensitive area, the graveyard. But rabbits have still got to be controlled, no matter where they are, really. You know, just because it's a graveyard. At the start of the day, there's not much around, which is strange because there are plenty of holes in among the gravestones. What we're finding, Charlie, is when we go to places, there's signs of rabbits. Yeah. But when you actually come to ferret it, very, very little. We went out yesterday. Um, and there's just no rabbits about anymore, you know. But you're seeing plenty of signs of them. Plenty of signs of rabbits. So, so uh, have they finally worked out how to outwit the ferreters? No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. People are saying this all over the country. That yeah. There are not that many rabbits. No, there's this disease going around called RHD. Um, but but then, whether that's got anything to do with it, really don't know. But if, yeah. if they've all just died of RHD, you know, what's, what's dug all these yeah, holes here? I don't know, I mean, we came down here the other night, shone the light around and there's rabbits about. Yep. Um, find them where they are. Yeah. So uh, do you think they're digging deeper? I mean, it, animals do work out. Yeah, you know, oh yeah, it's their it's territory. Like. They know their own back garden, you know. Yeah. Um, but like I say, we, we, the struggle we're having now mm. is catching the rabbits. Ferreting yeah. wouldn't work as a nighttime activity, would it? People do ferret night times. Do they? I've never done it. Yeah. Um, especially in a graveyard. <laughs> dark and spooky. Just below the metal railings at the bottom of the graveyard is a tangle of holly and other trees. Oh, stop it. With rabbit holes all over the earth bank. It turns out that this is where the rabbits spend their days hiding out. goes to show really just because you think they're in one place and not always are now we've moved down about sort of 20 30 yards to a bury we finally found the rabbits whether it's because of the shade of another tree I don't know I mean they're obviously coming from here through the night going up around the cemetery you know well because it's nice nice there's no grass here look there's nothing from to eat here so they're obviously in the cemetery eating the grass and that and they're moving back down here in the morning you know um, it's funny because we ferreted holes today but it's just the activity you think there's rabbits in there, but there ain't. And how about Ilminster Town Council? Are they happy? So, um, 
this seems to be where they're living. It seems seems like it. Um, I mean, it's pretty much directly below where, we, where, we, where most of the holes are in the cemetery. So you'd like to think this is where they're, they're coming up through. And hopefully we've sorted out the worst of the problem. We end the day on 18 rabbits, no graves disturbed and respect shown to the residents. But it's Halloween and on a patch of land away from the graveyard, you see a sight that almost stops your heart.